Hey everybody, Calvin Nation here with another video for you. In today's video, we're obviously, as you can see here, going to be talking about the BB Barfly. Um, just wanted to share with you a quick experience I had with them today. Um, I was with the two creators of the company. And uh, basically, if you haven't been on the JDBA, I posted a thread about this. What happened today was I went with them to audition for a TV show, a Canadian TV show and that's called Dragon's Den. Um, we've talked about this for the past couple months, me and Brian, the uh, the creator of BB Barfly, about going on the show because they've thought about it for a while. So um, obviously I decided that that was a sick idea and uh, today was the day where we got to audition for the show. So we didn't actually get filmed today. Um, it's basically an audition to uh, to get on the show to audition to the Dragons. So basically, if you're unfamiliar with the show, I think it's, and don't quote me on this, I think it's pretty similar to the Shark's Tank. I think that's the kind of U.S. version of um, of Dragon's Den. Basically what it is, it's it's a show about entrepreneurs or inventors who have an idea, like BB Barfly here. They go on the show and they ask these, um, you know, these, these big wig guys about... Uh, getting some money from them to kind of further the business, like um, further BB Barfly, for example, get some money to um, do more manufacturing or do pretty much whatever they want, like advertising, all that kind of thing. But obviously the people who invest these dragons is what we call them. Um, they get a share of the company. So, you know, you'd go in there asking for 3000 or $300,000 for 20% of the company. You're, Depends on how big um, of a company you are. So we um, basically did the exact same pitch you would do on the actual show to these producers of the show. And uh, it went super, super awesome. Um, none of us were nervous. We just went right in there, did our thing. Uh, Brian was, you know, he's a really good talker. He knew all his facts. Um, just a really good dude. And the, video, the thing about this video that I want to stress is actually how good the guys from BB Barfly are. They offer pretty much a bala song um, that can open bottles that's durable as heck I mean I threw this thing off my roof and it's it survived like I've done crazy stuff with this thing uh, it's durable it's comfortable it, it teaches you tricks that you couldn't learn because you know maybe you didn't want a sharp um, bala song it's basically a trainer bala song it's available for pretty much everyone worldwide especially in Canada so these guys are awesome and doing uh, Dragon's Den with them today was just such a pleasure. And they gave me the shirt that we wore in the uh, the little interview with the producers. I'll show you a quick picture of us there. And uh, they also gave me these two guys here, which was awesome. So uh, it was great doing that with them. Afterwards, we just had a few beers and some wings and stuff. And it was just great getting to meet them and great to do something I've never thought I would ever do. I mean, who thinks they're ever going to really audition for a TV show, right? And uh, perhaps even get on the show. And uh, I think they're, they are going to get on the show. Um, it depends on... If I'm on the show, it depends on whether or not I'll be around at that time. I have a feeling it's going to be during the summer when I might be tree planting. So there's a chance I could come all the way back from tree planting just to uh, get back on the TV show and help them out. But, um, yeah, we'll see. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. If you don't own a BB Barfly, if you're a beer drinker, or if you want a training balisong, honestly, even for the fact, if you just want a training balisong, I would recommend this over pretty much any trainer. And I've, I've said that. It's not that I'm just, you know, sucking up to these guys and trying to, you know, just bullshit you or whatever, right? Like, this is honestly, and I've mentioned it, like I said, it's it's like 24 bucks. You can customize it. It's super durable, and it's it's a great flipper. It's actually extremely well balanced. It's a little thick, obviously, in some points. So obviously, some moves are going to be easier with a real balisong. But honestly, I would recommend this for a trainer almost over anything, just because of how cheap it is, how customizable it is, how awesome it looks, and how durable it is. So um, I'm going to stop rambling. Hopefully I can add a few clips of my flipping, just in case you're really unfamiliar with the BB Barfly. Um, oh, I forgot to actually talk about what I did. Um, I think I did. I, I forget if I actually talked about this. Basically, all I did in the uh, interview with the producer was do some flipping for them. 
um, you know, just said my name, introduced myself. Uh, Brian talked about all the facts and figures and all that. And then I just did some, some flipping for them. I, uh, I taught them the little upward swing, that one there, because that's pretty much the simplest one. Um, they tried that, <laughs> and then I just did some freestyling just for about a minute of the interview. It was about like a 12-minute interview or something like that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, check out bbbarfly.com. Check out the Facebook page and uh, get one. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Take it easy.